Remember our sunset tonight? It was just traumatic, right? Uh, that's that moisture streaming up from the southwest. We had some light sprinkles this morning. This sort of activity will continue tonight. And not a lot measurable. Just checked in with Sky Harbor Airport. However, they had a hundredth of an inch, 0.01 from the showers coming up. And they've just been happening over the last hour or so. There's a live look at Doppler radar. Still little uh, light showers up in the uh, Paradise Valley area, also just north of the 101 Carefree Highway area, uh, just southwest of Cave Creek. So we're going to keep looking at these chances of sprinkles overnight and early tomorrow. We're still going to be in the 70s. We had a high today of 77 through Thursday, and Thursday is going to be a very deceptive day, and I'll show you why here in a second. But yeah, Katie, bar the door. We've got first alert uh, weather days for Friday, Saturday, anywhere from just as little as a quarter of an inch to up to an inch plus in some valley locations possible, according to a couple of the models. And Friday and Saturday, you bet it's going to be some wet travel statewide and possibility of some air travel delays. Light rain out there right now, 65 degrees, south winds at seven miles an hour, and that's what we were talking about. It was a dramatic sunset. Jason put up his drone in North Peoria and caught this amazing shot just showing this uh, moisture starting to come to the lower levels of our atmosphere and we're going to start to get this atmosphere stirred up by Friday. Here's our highs tomorrow still going to be above average through Thursday because high pressure is slowly going to shift to the east early tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon upslope areas could have a shot at rain and then on Thursday we're going to be sunny 75 77 degrees possible but then the very next day, early in the morning, here comes the showers as that low approaches. It's going to be a statewide rain event. Snow levels will be high because of the approach of the low to the south of us, tapping into tropical moisture rather than dragging in a lot of cold polar air. Snow levels will lower by Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, as colder air does fill in behind this low, and we should be out of the rain and snow picture by Sunday. Not a lot. Again, this is a warm storm. Most of the major snow will be above seven to 8,000 feet. And yeah, anywhere from a quarter to an inch plus through Saturday night. So we're still going to first alert for Friday and Saturday for rain, and we'll drop in temperatures to the lower 60s. But the holidays, although crisp and cooler, look sunny, partly cloudy on Monday, Christmas Day. Seen thanks. Well, time might be running.